Thanks for joining us from our studios in Israel. I'm Natasha Kirchuk here with ILTV's Morning Briefing. The Israeli Air Force struck a number of rocket launchers belonging to the Syrian army overnight after a shell from Syria landed on the Israeli side of the Golan Heights. Luckily, the shell hit an open area and didn't cause any damages or injuries. But Israel says any spillover violence from Syria will not be tolerated. Israel holds the Syrian regime responsible for all errant fire, regardless of where it's coming from, and frequently retaliates against stray shells that hit Israeli territory. Israel has begun working on a project to build a massive concrete barrier along its border with the Gaza Strip to destroy cross-border tunnels dug by Hamas both above and below ground level. Construction has already begun near those communities and towns currently closest to the existing border fence with Gaza. The wall is estimated to cost approximately 2 billion shekels with the participation of four Israeli companies. The project has already received 600 million shekels in initial funding. The planned multi-layered wall will reach several stories underground and will also rise above ground. The massive barrier will eventually cover 60 kilometers the full length of the coastal enclave. Gadi Eisenkot, the IDF chief of staff, has labeled it the largest project ever carried out in the history of the IDF. Israeli residents of the south are following the project closely, knowing that this is the most ideal solution to prevent against tunnels. Two Hebrew University professors who are pioneers in the field of epigenetics were honored with an award often seen as a precursor to a Nobel Prize. Howard Cedar and Acharon Razin have received Columbia University's 2016 Horowitz Prize, which has been awarded yearly since 1967. The Horowitz Prize recognizes achievement in biological and biochemical research. A press release from the university said the team was awarded the prize for their work on how molecules can regulate the structure, behavior, and activity of DNA without modifying its genetic code. This field of study is called epigenetics. 43 previous Horowitz Prize winners have gone on to win the Nobel Prize. The chief executive of the Columbia University Medical Center said that the advancement these scientists made in understanding how gene regulation works and what happens when the processes go wrong are fundamental medical discoveries that may lead to innovative treatments for a range of diseases. The town of Abu Ghosh near Jerusalem is known for its incredibly tasty hummus, but now one restaurant in the area is known for something a lot less positive. The dining hub has come under fire for charging eight Chinese tourists almost $4,500 for a meal, 400 of which was a service charge that was not supposed to be included. The final bill was circulated by the Israeli Incoming Tour Operators Association, which made the incident public to illustrate the importance of fair and polite treatment of tourists in the Holy Land. Incoming tourism represents about 15% of total exports and services by the state of Israel, and generates lots of employment in the periphery. In this case, the Abu Ghosh restaurant is co-owned by the town's top celebrity, Jaudat Ibrahim, who's known for breaking the Guinness World Record for the largest hummus dish in the world. It looks like this time he broke a record that doesn't make him look so good because the Chinese tourists that frequented his restaurant said they will not be recommending their friends to visit Israel. Israel's tourism industry has long been trying to tap into the potentially massive Chinese market, which sends about 47,000 tourists to Israel each year. That's all for now. I'm Natasha Kirchuk and see you later with our main daily broadcast from Israel at 2 p.m. Eastern Time.